Okay, for 7b, we're doing the same thing again, symmetry and intercepts. So like I said before, make sure your work is clearly labeled. When you show the three different tests for symmetry, make sure you clearly label those so I know what you're actually doing in your work. So for this, first of all, uh, you're going to want to find the intercepts. We'll do that first. Let's find the x-intercept, and this is where you're going to put in a 0 for y. So x squared minus 0 equals 4. We have x squared is going to equal 4, and then you can square root both sides. And then we'll get plus or minus 2, and those would be your two x-intercepts. We'll now look at the y-intercept. y-intercept you're going to put a 0 in for x. So for that, we have 0 squared. We have minus y equals 4, 0 going in for the x. That leaves you with negative y equals 4, and if you divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of that negative, you get negative 4. So x-intercepts for this problem will be plus or minus 2. The y-intercept would be negative 4. So now that this is complete, we now need to take a look at the, uh, the test for symmetry. So for that, again, you have three different tests that you're going to use uh, for that one. So again, clearly label each one of those. So first we're going to look at x-axis symmetry. Okay, so x-axis symmetry, the notes say we're going to take we're going to put in a negative y in place of the y. We're going to do that on this problem. So we're going to do x squared minus negative, we'll put a negative y in for y, and then we're going to simplify it. And we end up with that, and that's not the same as the original one because it's minus and we got a plus, nothing we can do to make this one go back to the original one. So it does not, this is a no here, no for x-axis symmetry. Next, let's look at y-axis symmetry. We're going to do negative x, we're going to put in place of x. So let's look at that one, we're going to do negative x squared minus y equals 4 and we get x squared minus y equals 4. That's exactly the same as the original one. So now we know it does have y-axis symmetry, so we can put that down in our blank. Now we still have to check the other one over here just to make sure. So let's check the origin symmetry. So origin, negative x for x, negative y for y. We're going to do both of them. So put a negative x in for x, negative y in for y, and we simplify it, and we do not get the same thing as we started with. This is not the same as the original one. It differs by a sign. This would be no. So what I would enter in, I would put in my blank for this question for symmetry. I would go ahead and put uh, y-axis symmetry. See how it is labeled each of these? Now you don't have to necessarily put negative y for y. I just do that for your benefit. But at least label your work here. You can just put x-axis symmetry and then show your work there uh, for each one. This is what I want to see. So make sure you have this labeled. Otherwise, again, if I can't follow your work, I'm taking points off.